Hey, what's up, rock stars? It's Rox coming to you today with the review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 13, I believe that this is. I am back. It's good to be back. It's good to see all of you guys. I had a fantastic trip to Cancun, and I'm going to tell everybody all about it on top of the blogs, because... That's the video that everybody watches, so I can just say it all. I'll give you all the rundown then. Um, but yeah, we had a great time, um, and it went by too fast, as usual. But we are back. I am not going to review episode 12. It's just, listen, it's just, it's already done. I'm sure y'all saw the other people's reviews. That's gonna have to do. We just gonna pick up from here. Child, I didn't even watch episode 12 until yesterday. I was so not interested. <laughs> so um, I, I now I'm all up to speed and we ready to talk about episode 13, y'all. I see now, though, why they did go back and film some more once we found out that there was some troubles in the waters of that of Drew and Ralph. Um, because this is probably the most <clears throat> excitement that we've had all season. Um, and of course, if they would have ended... I don't know when they would have ended. I guess it would have been after the Portugal trip. But like I said, now that this Drew and Ralph stuff is happening, we got about five more episodes, I guess, of this. <clears throat> I am sick, as you can hear. I, I, I don't feel sick. I just have a head cold. Um, I was like, please don't have COVID. And I don't have COVID. But I do have like a you know congestion and shit in here so you're gonna hear that as well because Charlie was so hot in Cancun and going in and out the air conditioning out to the heat the humidity I, I've just never really been this hot in my entire life <laughs> that I was being in Cancun so but <coughs> like I said I'll I'll give everybody the rundown on Thursday you know when I do top of the block so y'all make sure y'all tune in on Friday okay as far as this review is concerned, let's get to it, shall we? All right, you guys, so the Portugal trip is over, and uh, I guess they had quite a bit of excitement happen out there. Who would have known that would happen once the cameras weren't rolling anymore, all right? Ex and, unless you count Marlo and um, Manetta's cameras, and I guess other people's as well, but those seem to be the two that everybody is all up in arms about. <clears throat> So, anyway, um, it's Christmas time, you know, so we see Marlo and her boys, they're about to take, you know, their annual Christmas pictures. We see Todd and Candy talking about the film, you know, because Todd, you know, they want to employ they, they homies. And Candy was just like, yeah, she's fine with having any of the friends in the movie as long as they can act. Now, we ain't just throwing people up in there just because they the homie, okay? So um, then uh, we see Sonya. We see Sonya and her sister. They're talking at home, wrapping gifts. I was happy to see Sonya's sister smiling because, you know, she ain't been happy pretty much all this season. Um, so anyway, they're talking about the Portugal trip and Sonya, Sonya's just telling her how they went to that sound garden and how just freeing it was, just, you know, able to just lay there and meditate and open your mind and think about, you know, your life and changing perspectives and all of that. So she loved it. She also told her sister that she realized now that um, even though her sister has been, been her biggest fan, her biggest cheerleader, um, you know, always there. Sonya could count on her sister to do whatever she wanted at the drop of the hat. You know, when Sonya asked, little sister was there, beck and call. But she realized now that things have changed and it's no longer that way anymore. And that's why she's been having such an issue. You know, the sister and her, they why they've been bumping heads recently. And the sister says, you know, I just think that you don't understand that I'm not I can't just be your little sister that's cheering you on, that can drop things, you know, whenever you call, beck and call, like, I'm a mother, I am a wife, I have a business as well, like, I, there are things that now that have changed that dynamic, so, you know, um, like I said, sister was happy, Sonia said that her sister is a true Gemini through and through, so, um, you know, one day she might be one way, and another day she's another way, so, Today, <clears throat> at least, uh, Sis is in a good mood and her and Sonya got a better understanding of each other. So good for them. Now, jumping on over to Kenya, 
Kenya is at home with a little baby Brooklyn and her her cousin, her little cousin, Kahari. Apparently she's babysitting Kahari, you know, and just trying to see how little Brooklyn is going to be should she um, decide to have another baby. Um, you guys know this wasn't on the show, but it's been in the blogs that she's trying to get Mark to agree to use, and I guess the embryos i'm not sure if they have embryos or if it's just the her eggs and his sperm like i don't know where it is in the process but apparently they have some stuff some baby situation set up together and they're frozen so she would like for brooklyn and her new baby to have the same father so ideally she would like for mark to grant the request so that she can have that baby but i i don't know i i don't know what the agreement was with those sperm eggs embryos whatever it is um, i don't know if he would give up his parental rights because i'm sure he doesn't want to have a baby he doesn't want to have to deal with that with kenya considering they can't even get this divorce finalized so i'm sure he's not really trying to have another baby but you know maybe it's something that they can agree to you guys also see that mark is trying to be on his own reality show now and now he has to get permission from kenya to be allowed to have little baby brooklyn on the show after he gave kenya such grief over brooklyn being on real housewives see how things see how them tables turn that's why you always gotta you know you can't just be burning down bridges because you might need that person so <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there i don't know if she's going to have this baby. I think she's talking about pro possibly having a surrogate. I think that's gonna be on the next episode, um, having somebody else hold the baby because after you get all that work done on your body, you know, they ain't really trying to carry babies no more. Just let somebody else do it, okay? And then of course, she wants to make sure that Brooklyn is gonna be okay being a big sister. You know, Brooklyn, she's at that age where she's going to have some little jealousy issues. Nothing that you, that you can't, you know, fix or anything. But she's so used to just being Kenya's baby. And now the little boy is there. So she's like, do you want to be a big sister? Yes. You know, what do you want? She wants a brother and a sister. I will slow your roll. Maybe we can just get one. And uh, <laughs> maybe we get your dad to agree to one. I don't know about anything further than that. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. I just really love to see Kenya in her whole mommy mode. It's, 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 she's a totally different person. Um, you can tell that Brooklyn is like the light of her life. So happy for her. Jumping over to Candy. So we see Sis Candy. She's at Blaze. You know, she says hi to everybody. She's waiting on um, a friend to join her. Who would that friend be? None other than Cynthia Bailey. Okay. Um, and you guys know that Cynthia is back in Atlanta. I hear that Cynthia is trying to get her acting uh, chops up to par you know so she's been working doing little acting gigs here and there and she's here she said that uh, when she sat down with candy she was so happy to be back at lake bailey um you know that's that's her always been her zen place and um you know candy was like well you know i didn't really know if i should bring it up and cynthia said yeah i don't want to talk about the elephant in the room other than you know the marriage just didn't work you know second divorce yeah maybe it's time for cynthia to just concentrate on cynthia i feel sad that cynthia and um hashtag chill didn't make it but he gave us all the warning signals ahead of time um sometimes we just need to heed the signals you know i don't know if i feel like he ever was happy in the marriage he, he kind of seemed like as they were getting closer to the wedding she was like gung-ho about you know it being on this certain day and all of that and he just wasn't really with it, you know? So it wasn't super surprising that them two broke up. I mean, I wish it would have lasted a little longer, but hell, ain't no sense of wasted time. Shit, fuck it, okay? It ain't working. Everybody go on and find them somebody else. So now she's just waiting for God to order her steps. You know, sometimes when we <laughs> go through some shit, we, we start to rely on God a little bit more. I mean, God was like, if you just listen from the first time, we ain't even had to go through this. But now Candy tells us that she is going to be celebrating 10 years of bedroom candy. I've been bringing pleasure to bedrooms all all over America for 10 years. She's the ambassador of sex toys, she says. And she's got a new product coming out called the Peach Fuzz. It's a peach, 
okay? And honey, you just gotta hand it to Candy. She gonna always figure out a way to market some shit, right? I mean, it, when she was telling us about the peach fuzz, it almost felt like a commercial. They even had it set up on the little tables, you know. I was cracking up. I said, Candy, that girl is gonna use every opportunity. I am not mad. So she's gonna be having this social this peach fuzz social with all of the girls, you know, everybody come and so that she's promoting her new sex toy. Um, and we want Cynthia to come, obviously. Now we know that Cynthia and Kenya fell out when they were on that girl's trip. I didn't watch the show, but you guys all tell me that Cynthia showed her ass on that show and uh, was kind of jealous of maybe the girls liking Kenya more like I was like I can't even imagine Ken uh, Cynthia being like that she's such a grown woman is that really how it went down you guys I have to update me on that but um <clears throat> so but you know they they look like they gonna patch they patch that up um as far as Candy you know and the rest of the girls you know Cynthia's just like I I'm not real sure how you and Drew gonna fare you know you guys and it's funny to me that drew is candy's friend considering they bump head quite a bit you know um only because drew is such a liar like drew is just i know people be like everybody be so hard on drew but drew is a liar i see why she's doing it she's trying to save face i mean i got all that right I get the reason why she lies. She's trying to protect her image and her and Ralph and all of that, you know, still trying to hold that very fallen apart marriage together. So I get it, but it's just like, just recently they was all in Cancun. When I was in Cancun actually for Todd's birthday, it's so funny, it'd be Todd's birthday, but it'd be all Candy and all her girls. <laughs> I was like, where are Todd's friends at? <laughs> for Todd's birthday, I'm me and my girls is gonna go to Cancun. Oh yeah, Todd could come too. You know, but anyway, I say all that to say, um, Drew was with them on that trip. So I was just like, you know, her and Candy, they work it out. You know, Candy don't hold no grudges. Like Cynthia said, it, it's, it's just confusing to kind of figure out where their friendship lies. So Candy starts talking to her about what happened when they was all in South Carolina and with um, uh, the, the stripper guy and you guys remember shit got so out of control and the fact that Drew wanted to say that LaToya and Drew did not kiss when the, they did see them physically kiss. Um, and you know, Cynthia was kind of laughing kind of to herself, kind of almost like I ain't gonna get involved in that. But you guys, I, Candy's not lying, Marlo's not lying. I can't understand why Drew um, <laughs> is so mad at Marlo, but not mad at Magneta. And she kind of mad at Candy too, but not at the extent of why she's mad at Marlo, I guess because Marlo sent the video to LaToya. LaToya is a flip flopper too, because if you would watch on social media right now, Candy posted a, a, a interview that she did with LaToya back in 2021 when LaToya said that they did kiss. Okay, Marlo actually posted text messages between her and her and Latoya where they Latoya is agreeing that she did kiss her and that Drew is lying. So they can try to rewrite history all that they want. Okay, but the people back then said they saw them kissing, and even today when they was in Portugal that night, you know them saying that they did kiss and Drew. You know, no matter how confused and you know, flabbergasted you may be. <clears throat> when somebody says that you kissed uh, Latoya, that still don't make us believe you. So I'm not mad at Marlo. I'm not mad at nobody. Marlo sent that video because she felt like um, Latoya was, I mean, uh, she felt like Drew was talking bad about Latoya, who's supposed to be her so-called friend. Did Marlo need to do it? No, but you know. Drew being so mad that the cameras was running even after the cameras weren't running. I'm just like, like Sheree, Sheree said, like you're on a reality show. People are, cameras are going all the time. Even when the production company is not there, people have their cameras. They actually encourage them to get, you know, get some footage if you can. So <coughs> Drew's been around long enough to know that you need to, if you got to you know, if you don't want people to know all your business and stop telling it even when the cameras is not running.
So, yeah. I mean, if we're going to be mad at Marlo, we need to be mad at Magneta, too, and anybody else that was recording. Okay? So, I, I, I'm not I'm not mad. I'm not. Um, later on, we see Sheree and Candy meet up. Okay? Um, Sheree goes to, I guess, where Candy... I don't know if she's at where she does the Candy Coated Nights or whatever. Um, but... You know, Sheree was like, I hadn't been there in a long time. And Candy was like, her and Sheree, you know, they in a good space right now in their relationship. I feel like Sheree all this season has been trying to get the ladies to get along, but also kind of with her little bit of mess thrown in there as well. But Sheree's been taking the stance that she's just tired of them girls always fighting and being so messy and all. Sheree comes there and they're there to talk about Drew. Um... Sheree tells Candy that after Candy had left and how upset Drew was because there was video going on that she said that she didn't sleep with uh, Latoya when she did. And <clears throat> she even felt like Candy was producing like the whole thing, trying to make it seem like Drew did something that she really didn't do. And Candy was just like, wait a minute, wait the fuck a minute, okay? Now, what we not gonna do is sit up here and make it seem like I'm lying. I don't lie on nobody, okay? Which Candy has a very good track record. We ain't caught Candy in no lies yet, okay? It might be some omission. She might not want to talk about certain things, but we ain't caught her in a lie. So, um, she was mad, like, what you mean I'm producing this, you know? <coughs> now, we know Candy is the producer on Todd's movie. Todd has Drew as the lead. Um, but Candy was like, it ain't, a, it ain't nothing but a thing now. Drew ain't got to do it. Even though Drew said that it's not no big deal for her. Candy was just like, okay, well, if it's not no big deal, she ain't got to do it. It's plenty of other people that want that role. You know, Sheree was like, you going to give it to Kenya? No, we're not giving it to Kenya because it needs to be somebody that's like bright eyed and, you know, kind of naive and a little wondrous and all that. And, and those are things that Kenya is not. <laughs> I don't care how much she gonna be acting. That's Kenya, no, not as no grown ass woman. So Drew mad and talked herself out of this out of this spot. Now Candy tells Sheree she's having a Peach Fuzz event and she has invited Latoya because she feels like, you know, she does see Latoya around Atlanta and all. And I mean, let's just be clear. Candy wants to confront Latoya and Drew as well because, like I said, you ain't gonna be calling Candy no goddamn liar. Hopefully, it won't get messy at the event, but Latoya and Drew, I guess they're gonna have like a little. We'll see. We'll see what happened there. Now, jumping over to Marlo, nothing really here. I guess Marlo is trying to get us to believe that she's in a relationship with the Scottly guy. She's sitting and talking to her, one of her co-managers. You know, she has a couple that helps them. I think this is the wife she's talking to. And um, she's saying how, yeah, you know, Scott Lee is a little bit younger than her. He's in that whole scene. He has a restaurant. You know, he's a chef. He He's out at night. He's out late, you know. And she was just like, I don't know if I see my husband really doing that you know and the lady was just like your husband i mean is, are we getting married you know uh we ain't never seen marlo talk about no man not in that term we're really no man period so it's interesting but i don't buy it <coughs> i think that he's cool i think that she likes him as he's cool as a friend and everything but i don't know if i get the vibes that Marlo is like smitten or anything I mean really I still feel like she could have got with old boy in Portugal okay with a nice voice but Marlo does like him she says that he doesn't um he's protective you know he does make sure that she feels safe and um he's not afraid of her which is always a plus because I'm sure that Marlo can be quite intimidating okay even for a damn man so she gonna see how he is she won't bring him around the boys until she kind of see him I think he has kids so she has to see him with his kids and he how he interacts with them before she can introduce the boys so that's what's happening with Miss Marlo and then Drew we see Drew at home she's in the closet <laughs> Pun intended, but on pump. She is meeting with some people that are going to be organizing her um, closet. 
it's so sad really when you see Drew and Ralph they really look like they are trying to just hold it together for the show you can tell that he seems like he is quite annoyed with Drew but still trying to put up the front for the cameras when she's talking to the camera people and she's telling them what she wants them to do to her side of the closet they was like Ralph's side too and she was just like oh, you know let's just leave his side alone because I'm trying to stay cool with Ralph. You know, we having arguments every left and right every time you turn around. So that's why I was just like, you can tell. Anyways, you know, Ralph comes in there and joins them and they tell him it's going to be a long process to get in the, 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 the um, closet the way that they want it. Just Drew's side anyway, because Ralph ain't going to be there much longer. <laughs> So before the guys work on the closet, Drew and, and Ralph were in the closet talking about, um, you know, Portugal and that night and the fact that Marlo, you know, had now you know Ralph had then already told Marlo to keep her his name out of her out of her mouth because he don't like that shit and all that. <clears throat> the fact that apparently Drew must have texted him and said that Marlo was talking about him and so he texted Marlo that was last episode and told her to to chill um even though Marlo said I do the same thing that your husband does like, well, I'm in technology even though it was facetious like Kenya said but she didn't say nothing that was um she didn't say anything that was offensive if that's what he does then what we getting offended for right but the conversation of course is about Latoya which I think is already a sore spot and then now the fact that the new rumor is that Drew and Ty which is Mimi's ex-girlfriend from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta the fact that the rumor is Drew messed around with Ty and then you know they didn't need this other shit re you know resurfacing the fact that Latoya and Drew I feel like Drew is making it a bigger deal because really it didn't have to you was mad about Marlo but you brought more attention to it by being so mad it's just sort of like you could have just let that go but now that is like what the main focus is and I think it's embarrassing for her her mom is a pastor you know she's married remember she is she has all these beliefs when she was on the reunion she couldn't do this we have to pray first we have to blah 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 she was mad at Latoya you know talking about her um the, the man that was giving her all of her religious guidings and all of that remember all that so I think that now Drew this whole salacious story of her supposedly messing with another woman you know and that she could possibly be bi bisexual or bi curious or whatever it is you know so <clears throat> it's, it's bad but even when he was talking to Drew I could tell that he kind of was he didn't seem all that mad he kind of was more so like huh, you didn't got yourself into this one now okay i guess i could bring up the fact that you was supposedly uh messing around with ty but i'm gonna leave that alone because we're not sure if they know about it on the show yet but he kind of had that look on his face like mm, even though he act like he was mad about marlo he wasn't really 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 that mad as far as the cousin on the trip you know how was courtney well courtney she ain't really sure how things gonna be with courtney either you know because courtney was standoffish on the trip well courtney felt like they was unfairly being mad at marlo but not at manetta and then kenya of course pumped up drew to be even more mad at marlo because kenya don't like marlo obviously but no, everybody that was recording, they, you know, there was a, <laughs> Drew just needs to let it go. But, yeah, so I don't know if Drew and Courtney are going to be as close friends, as, especially now that the divorce is going through, if they're going to even be friends like that, like that. We'll have to see. All right, you guys, so Candy's event. <laughs> she has an event, she calls it Candy's Peach Fuzz Museum. This is at the Selfie uh, museum out here in Atlanta which is like this real cool spot where they just created all these spaces that you can go and take pictures and post it on Instagram it's a social um, kind of uh, uh, venue and um, she's decided to have it there we see people getting there there's a lot of people not just uh, Real Housewives now that the pandemic is down and, and over you know we can have groups 
together again. We see Candy and Todd get there. You know, are you guys enjoying the vibe? Yes, we're enjoying the vibe, uh, Candy. We love the fact that you have people here that's testing out different products. I mean, we see folks showing them how to use the swing and, you know, the, the peach fuzz. And <clears throat> like Candy said, you can put the peach right up against right here and vibrate it as you're giving the BJ. And um, that gives a sensation for the gentleman that's receiving the BJ, okay? And I'm sure the fact that it vibrates and all, that it's probably got all kind of things that you can, I'm sure your imagination could, uh, <laughs> how you would use this peach. Um, we see Sonya and Ross get there. I said, boy, that Ross, no, he is fine, honey. Ross was like, you ain't got to worry about me no more. Okay, he learned last season that he gonna keep his mouth shut. He gonna just be over here chilling with the fellas, you know. I'm sure Todd was just like, just be like me. <coughs> Let the ladies handle it. Stay out of it. So that's what Ross does now. We just get a quick glimpse of, of Ross. It don't be nothing more than that. But while Candy is working the room and saying hi to everybody, Sheree is talking to some of the girls that's there and she's telling them how... She sat down with Candy and told Candy about Drew, how upset she was in Portugal, how Drew felt like Candy even produced that whole moment and all. And so, you know, we might have a little something today. And, you know, Marlo was just like, oh, you know, Candy don't like being called a liar. The fact that Marlo and Candy, which are arch enemies on this show, but are agreeing, touching and agreeing on the fact that Drew is lying is ought to be, that ought to be letting you know that I don't think that Marlo would lie on Drew and I know that Candy wouldn't either. Like Marlo is not a liar either. Marlo can hit below the belt and Marlo can do some shit that she probably shouldn't do, but I don't Marlo hasn't really lied much about stuff either, you know, so there's that. Candy did say that her and Marlo, they never gonna be good as friends, you know. She can be cordial, she can show up and see Marlo and not feel like, you know, she wanna beat her ass or nothing, but as far as them being like Ace Boon Coons, like um, her going on Todd's birthday trips and stuff, <laughs> there will be none of that. Now, the rest of the girls start coming in. Even Cynthia is there. Um, Cynthia, I was looking and I was like, Cynthia's face looks different. Cynthia still looks good, but I feel like we we working on some, some Botox and stuff. We starting to do some things different. Also, her hair was black, which we're not used to uh, Cynthia having just jet black hair. She usually has like some kind of blonde or brown streaks or something up in there. So there's that too. But yeah, I was looking at Miss Bailey's face. I was like, okay, I see some little suspension. You know, your face is looking like it's kind of in... It might have been poked at a little bit. So they sitting there, they talking, where's Drew? Okay, well, just so happened that Drew was pulling up, her and Ralph. Okay, now that all of the girls are there, Drew's the last one to get there. She comes in hugging, she sees Cynthia. Cynthia's like, we was just talking about you. And Drew was like, you was talking about me? What was y'all talking about? Oh, I'm sure you can guess, Drew. Ralph seems to have an attitude. I was like, Ralph, go on over there with the men. Just go over there with the men because you already know you don't need to get roped up in none of the women's shit. But Ralph wants to talk to Marlo. And he pulls Marlo to the side and he tells her, basically, he ain't like the fact that she was talking about him. And she was like, I really didn't say anything bad. I just said that I am in technology just like your husband, Okay. But I apologize. I shouldn't have probably brought you up. So he, so she basically tells him that she's going to stop. She's sorry that she brought him up, but she ain't even going to hold him to nothing too much too serious because he knows that his wife is a liar too. <laughs> and he kind of had a look on his face like, yeah, I do know, but I'm still trying to keep, you know, this, I'm trying to hold it together. That's why his heart wasn't even really in this confrontation that he had with Marlo. It was almost sort of like he was agreeing, but just don't put me in it. But lastly, you guys, LaToya finally shows up. She still has her YouTube channel that she's quite active on. I'm sure she probably makes better money on YouTube than she probably did that one season that she was on Real Housewives, you know. Um, it's still too bad that she didn't work out, but I think that that's just not really her her speed is real housewives but a guest appearance every now and then ain't gonna hurt nobody so she comes there and you know everybody's greeting her hey latoya hey latoya and um she hugs candy you know and then she tells uh candy in her ear that i'm i'm mad at you 
And Candy was just like, you mad at me? what I do? Well, let's let's sit, let's go to another room and let's have a conversation. Okay, we can have this conversation. As a matter of fact, go get Drew. Let's go sit down and have this conversation. And Drew is, you know, chomping at the bit. She want to get her name cleared. She don't want people to think she's this lesbian that's going around kissing all these other women while she's, a, you know, a, <coughs> a married woman. So they go to the other room and Latoya says how the conversation that they all had in Portugal had, had hurt her feelings. Well, why did they hurt your feelings? Because she feels like you were lying and saying that they you know kissed and they didn't and Marlo I mean uh, Candy was away hold on go get Marlo okay because Marlo was the one that sent the video to Latoya and all and let's just get everybody in there well Marlo is already in that mode like I'm not studying Drew and Latoya I already said what it is the video showed Drew denying it I sent Latoya to things we had our conversations so Marlo is not even trying to but Marlo comes in there, you know, she's all, hey, hey, you know, she's dancing, not trying to pay attention. And <clears throat> they are calling themselves confronting Marlo about the lie that Drew and Latoya kissed. So why did you send Latoya the video? Marlo was just like, I just wanted to send the video because you speak so highly of her all the time and I needed you to see how she talks about you. But Marlo was just like, I'm not fixing to go here with you guys. Like I already said what I said. I'm going back out. Y'all have fun in here. You know, and Candy was like, y'all not about to make me out to be a liar because I'm not lying. I know what the hell I saw. Okay. And yes, I do know that there's been videos where they have confirmed it and then they didn't. And, you know, Candy said, if I saw incorrectly, then, you know, I could admit that. But I never felt like Candy was saying that that's not what she saw. I mean, how hard is it to say? I saw two women kissing. And, and Candy was just like, Sheree already told me that you said that you felt like I was producing this whole thing, like to promote the movie. And Candy was just like, I don't need to promote the movie. It's Todd's movie. Drew said maybe Candy was fantasizing about, girl, if you don't go somewhere. <laughs> Candy was like, I've had plenty other women in, in my dungeon better than the likes of you. <laughs> Let the rumor tell it. A girl don't even toot your own horn like that. So Candy is just basically like, no, they did kiss. Um, I guess they're going to have to agree to disagree. Like I said, I believe very much so that Drew did. I don't know why it's that big of a deal, but I feel like Drew is trying to, because she knows that the story with Ty is about to surface. So maybe that's why she was like so hell bent on trying to clear her name, child. I don't know. What you guys think though? All right, you guys, that is it. Let me get on off of here. Make sure that you thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm It's Rocks. The channel is It's Rocks. Everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right, all right. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and I plan on doing the same. Till next time, rock stars. Bye.